Juan Latino. Juan de Cesar was born around 1518. His place of birth is debated by historians, but it is believed that he was either born in Spain or Ethiopia. We do know he was born from enslaved Africans of the house of Don Luis Fernandez, the Count of Cabala, the second Duke Consort of Cesar. Juan was the personal assistant to the third Duke of Cesar, Don Gonzalo, the son of Don Luis Fernandez. Juan and Don Gonzalo were said to have been around the same age range. In 1520, Don Luis Fernandez died, forcing his wife, Donna Elvira, to move her family to Granada. At the age of 12, Juan moved to Granada with Don Gonzalo and Donna Elvira. Around this time, Don Gonzalo began attending school, and because Juan was his personal assistant, he accompanied Gonzalo as he attended school. Pedro de Mota was an instructor at the Cathedral of Granada who taught Don Gonzalo. Because Juan was constantly in attendance and also paying attention, he also gained an education, becoming proficient in Greek and Latin languages. It is said that because he mastered the Latin language that his classmates named him Juan Latino and the name stuck. Under normal circumstances of the times, Juan would have only just accompanied Don Gonzalo and not have learned much because school was presented as unattainable for enslaved people. But because Juan was eager to learn, he began picking up on the lessons and even outperforming Don Gonzalo. Juan was so proficient that he was allowed to continue to study because the instructors could see how much of an asset he was to the household. The University of Granada was founded in 1531. It is also the place where Juan and Don Gonzalo would continue their education after advancing past the Cathedral of Granada. Juan earned his bachelor's degree in 1546 and his master's degree in 1556, all while starting a family and navigating a world where slavery is still illegal and racism is being defined. Juan was an educated man of African descent living in Spain less than 50 years after the Moors were expelled from Spain and the European nations have begun getting wealthy from the transatlantic slave trade. To say Juan Latino was an exceptional person would be an understatement. Juan was known for his intellectual prowess and the ability to teach others. He was hired to tutor Anna, the daughter of Licionado Carlobal, the owner of the estates of the Duke of Sesa. He was tutoring Anna in music. Anna had a reputation for her beauty and Juan had a reputation for being a ladies man. After tutoring Anna, the two eventually married and the union was a disruption of the social class of Spain. A man who was the son of a slave of the Duke of Sesa has married the daughter of the overseers of the Duke of Sesa. Anna and Juan produced four children from their union, two boys and two girls. Around 1566, Juan competed with Licionado Villanueva for the position of Cathedral Professor of Grammar. He eventually earned the position and it was incentivized by giving him extra university privileges. Juan was breaking barriers as an African in Spain in the 1500s. He was excelling as a Professor of Grammar and gaining a reputation as a great poet. He was even able to translate the poems of Virgil into Spanish. He was creating quite a reputation of excellence for himself. He was also beginning to be seen and respected within the social circles of Granada, but no amount of success could have shielded him from the presence of racism. Black skin was still seen as inferior to his white fellow counterparts. He was often targeted and ridiculed for his skin color and social class by birth. Juan is credited with contributing to the golden age of Spanish writing because a number of the writers who pushed Spanish literature into their golden age were students of Juan Latino. His influence and views of the world helped to prepare some of the most skilled and thought-provoking writers in Spanish history. Juan was very successful in his life. He gained a lot, but he also lost a lot as well. As he aged, he began to lose a number of the people who were the closest to him. A number of his friends and colleagues passed away but the loss of his dear wife Anna was a devastating blow to him. It is believed that Juan Latino died in 1608 at the age of 90 due to his health failing and blindness setting in. Before his death, Juan was able to defy the odds of the time. He became a prominent member of his community and his country even though he was the son of an enslaved African within a society that saw African people as less than human. Mr. Juan de Cesar, AKA Juan Latino. We're proud to stand on your shoulders.
For more information, make sure you visit www.ontheshoulders1.com. And you can also support us on Patreon at patreon.com backslash O-T-S-O-G. Oh yeah, and don't forget to catch this video right here. This video right here that's coming up next, check out this video, dropping more information on your forehead.